Hi, I'm Kimberly Searman, event design expert and owner of Events by Fabulous. Today, we're going to talk about balloon decor for a formal party, and I'm going to show you how to make a very stylish, free-floating tassel balloon. It's so hip right now, it's really in style, and it's super simple to do. We're going to start by getting a 36 inch balloon. You want to choose a color that matches your party decor. I've chosen here a beautiful pearlized white. It's kind of a neutral base and it really goes with any party theme or decor. Next, we're going to make some gorgeous tassels and these are going to hang from the balloon and actually keep it in equilibrium so that it can free float. It's pretty amazing. So how we're going to make these tassels is out of tissue paper. That way it won't weigh down the balloon. We're gonna take our tissue paper and we're gonna fold it in half. And then we'll do an accordion fold on that tissue paper like so. Next, after we've finished our accordion, we'll cut it with the scissors. Now make sure you don't cut all the way to the top of the tissue paper. You wanna leave about two to three inches so that you can tie a ribbon on the top and finish your tassel. After you've cut, you can open it up and you can see this great fringe that you've just created. Now we're gonna roll that fringe up and then tie it with the ribbon at the end. I've chosen here a beautiful lace ribbon because it's really delicate and very, very festive. So now we're gonna do a bunch of tassels. I recommend doing at least three different colors per floating tassel balloon. It really just makes a great look. So here I'm gonna do a peach, a pink, and a white. I would recommend doing between four and six tassels per balloon, depending on how big the balloon is and how recently you've just blown it up. So let's get our balloon decorated. To start, I'm actually using a silver metallic curtain. It's a great accent as well because it has all of these hanging strings and it creates a beautiful puddling look. So I'll just take that metallic curtain and I'll staple it to the string that the balloon came on. That's our base. Next, we're gonna tie on some lace ribbons. Next, we'll start with our tassels. I like to do one brightly colored tassel right at the top just to really give it a little pop. And then we'll keep tying the tassels on about every four to six inches down from the top to create a fun billowing effect with the tassels. And lastly, to finish off the look, I've done a really cute heart ribbon. It's super simple. All I did was take some pink cardstock, cut out some freeform hearts, and then I'm just gonna staple it onto this beautiful peach ribbon. I'm just gonna attach it to our balloon base and then finished off the whole look with a lace bow at the top. And that's it, just a couple of steps and you've created this gorgeous hip free-floating balloon. <laughs> <laughs>